Hey guys, how is it going? It is Bianca here and today I have a little more of a different kind of video and as you see by the title, it is a wig video and yeah, so it's kind of weird. So first of all, I just want to say that I purchased this um, with my own money. I wasn't sent anything and I've been watching a lot of videos about it, well kind of. And also, um, this is my second time experience with like hair stuff. Um, back in like 2015, I had like clip-in extensions for when my hair was like about this short or whatever. And um, so yeah, I know it's human hair extensions and this wig is synthetic hair. So just to make that as a disclaimer. Um, so I got, so this is the outre or ultra, however you want to say it, um, lace front uh, wig. It is in the style Tess and it is in the color 2. Um, I bought this from sisterwigs.com because every other website either didn't have the color that I wanted. I wanted 1B because I think my hair is 1B, but 2 looks, I don't know, color. the color number 2 just looks like, I don't know, it, it looks like my hair color, but I can't tell because my hair is just like, I don't know, my hair is like really dark, um, and I wanted to get the other one, Nisha, but I decided not to since that was sold out everywhere. And I was going to buy this, this wig from different places, but they just, it was like weird. They wouldn't take my debit card or whatever. So Sister Wigs did. And yeah, so I ordered this on the 29th of February. It's a leap year. Yes, I know. So it's 29 um, days instead of 28, just so you guys could know if you didn't know already. And this got here on March. Um, it took like five days. So I already unboxed this as you guys can see because I wanted to make sure that everything was in here correctly and I got a wig cap or whatever in the black color. And then they sent me one free and this actually has two in it and this has two in it. I have one here and then I pulled one off to put this on. And the hair comes in like this, this like shape thing. And sorry, I'm looking to the viewfinder, but it comes in it comes in this and it has it's like tied on to like a little plastic thing that comes off and it has like paper and like a styrofoam thing in there. So this was in the bag. I just put the hair back in the bag because I have nothing to put it on um, right now. So I'm just gonna take this out and show you guys. I mean, I know that a lot of people have gotten this wig before and I'm just jumping onto the train and because I actually forgot this is what I was going to say that I actually cut my hair off and I'm st I still have yet to do a big chop video for my hair my hair journey video so um that's it so this is what the wig looks like let me zoom out for you guys um it, it looks like this I didn't I expected it to be a little bit longer but it's actually shorter than I actually thought it was and you guys are like but this looks really long and so yeah it looks really long but um for me I'm, I'm actually 4'11 so I go, I'll show you guys what it looks like when I stand up um hopefully I can do that <sighs> so um yeah this is what it looks like on the inside if you can see all that it has like the clips on the side and then the back and everything and I'm probably not putting it on right but you know people put their stuff on different ways and then they move this back because every time I got this way and I didn't cut the lace off yet for you guys to see what it looked like okay um so this is what it basically looks like like with the, with the like the lace on it still and I'm not sure if it's because of the lace or because like the top of this wig is like very puffy and it's like a lot of hair that it makes my face look I just love to have a broom on my head. So I probably will straighten this because I didn't want to and I'm actually really a big fan of big hair but I don't know how everybody else will think and I, I, I don't know I'm just really very self-conscious about this. Okay so I'm back and this is what it looks like without um, the lace and I guess I cut it off um, very well. So I didn't cut the um, lace off by the ears yet or whatever um, but it does look much better on me now that I have like the lace cut off. I'm actually very self-conscious about like forehead, showing forehead or whatever 
to like to keep like hair in front of my face so I'm not sure if I'll like cut like a piece and have like a side bang or or whatever um so yeah and I have like the hair still I'm not like 100% good at taking all of this off and it says to brush it let me start at the ends first and it didn't get tangled and when I got this hair I experienced no shedding right out of the package and even now that I cut the lace I just have like a piece of hair that just came out um, so it just because it happens when I cut the lace off so it's not a really a big deal so yeah and I'll try to stand up for you guys okay so this is how long it is and I am 411 just to just so you guys can keep that in mind. I am like the shortest of the short. Um, so this is how long it is in the front. Comes right here at the end. And then this comes at the middle part of my back. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys can see that. So yeah, and then have a um, care guide on it and um, it, it, it's, it's like this, it's like a step by step guide so when you cut the lace, well you're supposed to really cut the lace off first before you put it on and I didn't do that because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like with the lace on and then you're supposed to brush the hair so that's what I'm going to do and it's just, it's like a lot of hair you probably burn up in the summer and I did get, I'm getting more shedding ever since I cut off the lace was that it's to be expected? I am not sure. I have to see if this looks right on me. Um, so also, once again, this is the color number two. Um, I was gonna when I was gonna get Nisha it was like four, like number four. That's like a chocolate brown, and I'm not sure how that would look on me. Also, I forgot to mention that I do not. I have like this um, part phobia, like for my normal hair I do not like like the scalp look I mean on other people it looks nice but I'm not gonna put, put any concealer in my hair because I don't have any and I I don't know how I'm, what I'm gonna do but I do not like the look of parts on me um, I guess it's just like a self-conscious thing and this wig it does have adjustable straps I forgot to mention that but I do not need to adjust anything like right off the package this hair was just the way my hair needed it to be so yeah and I don't know if I showed you guys the parting on it I don't know if you guys can see it I can't see it because the sun is blocking me in the viewfinder but it's fine with me this probably won't be good for like the summer because it will get you get pretty hot when you wear this unless you find a way to get it out of your face without showing any um, evidence of this being a wig um, so yeah, I'm not sure. Let, let me know if you guys think this looks very wiggy on me. Because um, some people look nice in it. And I am not sure. I'm not 100% sure what I would do. Somebody did straighten their wig. And they said that they didn't know if their wig would come back to normal. Like have the same texture when it gets um, washed. And I do not want to find that out. Maybe when this wig is in like the last stages of its life, I will straighten it. Maybe, maybe not. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do like the braids. So I'm not sure how I am going to style this either. Um, I, I mean, this is like good practice or whatever. See what looks best for me than anything else because. I think that's important since this is my first wig and if I go outside I want it to look nice like it would be my hair if I'd ever cut it off years ago when I was a kid and I know I look probably younger than that but I am 19 years old just so you guys know almost 20 so yeah I'm just short and I look like a kid so that's unfortunate this is what it looks like if you have like two little pigtails or something on your hair and this is what it looks like in the back um somebody did make a video on how to make baby hairs on wigs so i might do that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up 
and I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy um, another wig now um, I'm just gonna wait until this one I don't know I'm probably gonna get a curly one next because that's what I'm working on my natural hair to be like and I want to make sure that that's what I really want so I might get a curly wig next time and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys later bye